Okay, here's how to make uh, some modifications to the OZQRP.com DSB transceiver. Probably one of the easiest modifications is to just put the four rubber feet on the bottom of the unit. Really easy, um, no brainer there. The second modification I did was putting a larger tuning knob on as well as a somewhat matching uh, gain control knob. I think it looks pretty nice overall. Makes tuning much easier with the larger knob. The next modification is making this an on-off switch. On-off along with the gain. A lot better than drilling a hole through the thing. You know, keep the original integrity of this kit and uh, make it still look nice. And that is done by removing the old potentiometer. You'll have to run three leads up because this will not fit on the circuit board like the old one. And then solder them in place once you have everything all put back there. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. You're gonna tie that switch into the back of the 12 volt plug. One lead will go tied in right there and the other lead to one side of the diode there. I assume that's some kind of reverse polarity diode. Then what you need to do is cut the trace on the bottom side of this board that goes between there and that diode. So cut that trace, tie those in, and you've got a nice on-off switch, which still looks good. Here's the most important modification, I think, is adding an external or an inter internal speaker to this transceiver. You're going to want to remove R43. You can see where that's located. It's located right here. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to do this upside down. And um, you're going to just put a wire in its place. That's kind of sorry for those shadows. You're going to put a wire in the place of R43, and then you're going to tie these leads onto the bottom of the phone jack. I wish I could pull this board off and show you, but there is a trace you cut there and you can hook these wires on there and then the phone jack will actually work like it should where is if you do plug headphones in, it'll cut the sound to the speakers. The most important thing is adding the speaker and making it look nice. And that is done by getting a template off the internet. Just type in speaker hole template. You're gonna see this template come up, probably one of the first ones and just print it off, cut it out. The neat thing about it is you can do the size of whatever speaker you want with this. So the one I elected was this size. And you'll notice on the case that there's actually a small indentation right in the center of the case. That's where you can start your holes. You're just gonna basically tape this on there, center it, and then start drilling your holes for the size of the speaker you want. You can see on the bottom side, then you can just hot glue the speaker right in there. And I think it looks good. It looks like it's something, you know, that's factory. I, uh, I'm amazed by how many hams or kit builders will spend all the time building a kit and then make the uh, case and their drilling look like dog shit. I, I don't get it. Take your time, make it look good, and you're going to have a nice little uh, project there that you can be proud of. Proud of the show as well.